Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're in Henderson, Nevada, which is a suburb of Las Vegas, Nevada, and I looked up top 10 thrift stores and antique stores in Las Vegas, and the Castaways resale store came up as one of the top 10. So we're gonna go in here and check it out to see if we can pick up anything for a profit, whether it be jewelry or purses, doodads, whatever. Um, so check out my channel. I am the Costume Jeweler, and I thrift daily for purses and jewelry for resale on eBay and YouTube. I do YouTube live, buy it now sales, as well as auctions. So hit that notification bell so you know when I post new content and have pop-up buy it now sales live on YouTube. And you can check out my eBay page also. So let's go in here and see if we can pick up anything for a profit. The reason I say that is my boss is Cece, the Costume Chicken, and she does direct what I do, she is my boss and she tells me where to go. So she is not with me today, but we are going to go in here at her direction and see if we can find anything for a profit. So as you can see, it's a pretty big thrift store. So we're gonna look around at different things to see if there's anything that we can find. And I may mail some stuff back to myself, especially for the Airbnb. These look vintage. These are really pretty. So we're looking for purses and jewelry mainly, but I'll also love to take you guys through what I call the whatnot section of a store. Because you never know, but this is listed as one of the top 10 stores in Vegas to thrift. It's all vases. This is cute. Oh, wow. Okay. $3.97. This is a cookie jar. Very nice. Let's look inside and see if there's any markings. So that looks to be handmade. That's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. So you guys can comment and tell me if you think this is a top 10 or not. I love that mug right there. That's from World Market, 97 cents. So this is another one. 97 cents, those are cute. Oh, sorry. So as you know, I've been looking for games also for the Airbnb. If something, is small enough here I may buy something and take back in my suitcase I was told also that puzzles are probably a good idea for the Airbnb pie face is a great game if you've never played that that's a lot of fun this thrift store is kind of like a bin also because you see all of this stuff that's just a little bit of stuff everywhere not a whole lot of rhyme and reason looking for purses I don't see any purses yet I think I found the purses now Henderson Nevada I believe is supposed to be a ritzy area or suburb of Vegas so I was hoping when we come in here that we'll find something great you just never know This wallet's cute, it's by Accessories. Wallet by Madani, Mondani. I will say this about this thrift store just like I would anything else, you always have to just look, you can't discount any one thrift store. Now look at that cute wallet. A Little bit of fringe going on there, I'm not sure if this is real leather or not. A Little bit of a stitching issue, but maybe it's in good condition on the inside. I like this one a lot, but it's not real leather, and we do have that stitching issue right there. For that reason, we'll pass, but otherwise, I probably would have purchased that. Look at this cute little beaded wallet. And then we got some... I like the beaded wallets. Found a Louis Vuitton yesterday, a wallet. I'm not sure if it's new or not. I'm not new. I mean real. But regardless, I bought it for my use. Yeah, hoping to hit the jackpot in this store, but you never know. 
There is some jewelry up front. These are all the purses that I see unless they have some behind the counter up front, but I don't know yet. What is this? Jewel. Oh. See, I don't know if they have any pawn shops over here or not. I thought about doing a video of a pawn shop in Vegas because that ought to be interesting. So I'm going to let you guys comment below and let me know if you think this should be listed in one of the top 10 thrift stores in Vegas. But if you look online, all the top 10s are definitely, I don't know who puts those out, you know, Google or whatever search engine does or how they come up with that but you guys can comment below and let me know if you think this should be listed as a top 10 that's castaways in las vegas what is all that mess right there somebody took all that out of that purse i guess let's go look at the jewelry so we're gonna check out the jewelry next to see if there's anything in here that we can't live without may look through this pretty quick but yeah this is a ritzy area of Vegas I'm not so sure Those are cute. I don't miss any rhinestones. These are pretty too. Screwbacks. They're not fitting on the holder that well, so I'm going to pass on those even though they're cute. I'm not sure if these would sell or not, but I like them. I think they're cute earrings, but I think I'm going to pass on those. But they're definitely worth looking at. These are really pretty to me, but someone replaced one of the rhinestones. So I'm not sure I would sell it just because it's kind of mismatched. Look how pretty those are. These rhinestone earrings are awful pretty. CZs. And choker necklace. Oh, that's a bracelet. It says Scotland, a beaded bracelet. Look through a few of these together. Kind of just scrolling through it real quick to see if there's anything that I want to take a closer look at. Because I don't know. This looks like a ceramic Christmas ornament of sorts. This to me is beautiful, so I am definitely going to pack this one up. I love this. So yeah, this turned out to be a good trip at the store. I mean, I found a couple of things. This I think I'm going to take a look at and possibly get. Look at this one right here with the faux coins. And I'm not sure about this right here. It looks like it might be a watch chain, but I may take a look at it. Here's a beautiful double-stranded uh, faux coin necklace by Carol Lee. 
L-E-E. So we'll take a look at that. That's a good one. So this necklace by Carol Lee actually has an owl on one side. And then you have that on the other. So it's double-stranded. That's a beautiful necklace. These are glass, not acrylic. So that's nice. So we're going to pack that one up. Let's see, I'll show you. I'm sorry, Cookie Lee, not Carol Lee. Good find. Talk about needing an eagle eye for detail, guys. Look at this beautiful... I don't know if it's sterling or not. We'll have to test it and see. But look at this beautiful necklace. And wait till I tell you who the designer is. So this right here is all CZ. So look at this, and then I'm going to tell you who the designer is. So let's lay this one down. I need to look through the others a little bit better, too. So look at this, guys. We're going to do it up close and personal, so look at that. So look at this. Les Bernard. Yeah, I mean, I've had, I've, and then, and then the bad part is, if you cut it, it takes, oh, I don't know, So that's a great find right there. So I'm doing my second go around in these bags of jewelry right here and found that Les Bernard. That's cute. I don't know if this is designer or not. Cute, but gonna pass on it for sure. Because of this right here. Also found this beautiful four leaf clover. It looks like it, it's not sterling, it's silver plate. But it's good to heavy quality. And then the, um, the beads here are glass. So a really pretty necklace. Show you this up close too. Look how these are also pretty earrings. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence of whether or not to get these. They're not designer mark, but they look heavy duty. So this right here. I'm definitely going to get this necklace here. So this is a great style faux coin necklace. We're going to try to zoom in a little bit. So I'm really loving this faux, per, uh, faux coin necklace. There's not a designer mark on it. I'm gonna show you up close. This is good quality silver plate. And then look at this other necklace I found. I've never heard of the designer before. So just wait for this and This one looked high quality to me. And you guys comment below and let me know who this designer is. I've never heard of it, but I will Google it. But I am gonna buy this one for resale on YouTube. Looks like a choker. It looks to be about 15, 16 inches. Gold tone. Gold tone, heavy duty chain link. And just wait till you see the designer name. I don't know this name before. I've never thrifted it before. So here you go. Irwin Pearl. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. So that is the designer name on this. So you guys comment below and let me know if you've ever heard of him before. So I got that necklace. I'll show you a recap real quick. I've got that necklace, this glass bead, clover necklace. Faux coin necklace.
Cookie Lee necklace. Glass beads. What I love about the pendant is that it has an owl on the other side, so a reversible pendant. That's Cookie Lee. This necklace here is pretty too, but wait for the Les Bernard guys. So this one's not designer marked. Last but not least, guys, a Les Bernard CZ necklace. Take a look at this. Come on. That's a great find at Castaway. No missing rhinestones whatsoever or CZs. So we hit that notification bell, the thumbs up for the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys at the next Thrift in Vegas. So that Les Bernard, guys, is probably my favorite find in this thrift store. So hit that notification bell so you know when I post new content as well as live buy nows of purses and jewelry. Hit a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Until next shopping video in Vegas or elsewhere, see y'all later.